Hi, how are you going there? Can I just get an appointment, Wait a minute, please? I know you. I do, yes, yes, you're that man from the telly. The you're that MP, got his hand stuck in the cookie jar. That's right, metaphorically speaking, not literally. <laughs> I have no idea what you're speaking about. I'm just a regular guy, know nothing about no, politics. No, 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 isn't that you the there? That, like, no, he's clearly not wearing sunglasses. I clearly am wearing sunglasses. <sighs> oh, yeah, you're right. Hey, do you mind quickly taking those off for me? There it is, that's you, that's definitely you. Okay, it's not a bad photo, but let's just keep it on the DL. On the DL? DL. What's the... Down low. Oh, the down low. Right, cool. So, how can I help you? I need an appointment. I'm here for the benefits. I've just lost my job, you idiot. That's what that's... Oh, oh it, it does say that, but it also says that you stole $1.5 million from the taxpayers. I embezzled. I embezzled one5 from the taxpayers. Okay, it's a big difference. Oh, what's the difference? I'm a politician. Oh, right. There are different rules right, for politicians. Right. Now make me an appointment. Okay, sure. Please. Okay, but, but what about the 1.5 million you stole? Embezzled. Embezzled. Oh, how many times? Sorry. It's gone. Where? I don't know, Cayman Islands, Swiss bank accounts. If I'm honest, I blew a lot on coke and hookers, a lot. And I don't know why I'm being honest about that right now. Did you want me to get you a hooker? I think oh, the man. best I've got is a sex addicts meeting. What time's that meeting? Four o'clock, but it's for pensioners. No, no, I haven't got time. Appointment. Okay, just on point. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. Can you get me a coffee? Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Can I get a coffee for disgraced MP Paul Chamberlain? Oh. Yeah. He's just here with the hat and glasses. Okay, okay. Show me that one again. Okay, one, one more. I'm really sorry, Peter. Um, but look, there's a slight geographical problem here because your house lies just outside the flood affected area. Outside, we've lost everything. Oh my God, is that your house? We lost the house, mm. I mean, the car, the dog. Um, well, um, you still have a phone and you've got your family. I I'm gonna put you on the waiting list. How long's the waiting list? Three years. Three years? Well, you haven't lost your family. Um, those who have lost family have priority. How long do they wait? Three working days. <laughs> My wife was killed. <laughs> I... I this is my mistress. It's, it's all right. The wife knew about it. We're going to list you as urgent. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, I can't believe it's really you in my office. Okay. What an honour. Yeah, it's, it's me. Can we just get this over and done with? Yes, of course. Okay. Oh, I just want to apologise. I haven't got a better chair. Just with the funding cuts and everything. I don't have to tell you. <laughs> you made them. And why am I telling you? <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> the welfare budget was exploding. Okay. It hurt me more than it hurt anyone. Trust me. Yeah, it hurt me too. I mean, I had to sack staff, you know? It's ironical that most of them ended up on welfare benefits. <laughs> well, their benefits outweighed their wage, so the government saved money. It was a win-win. Yeah, oh my God, I've never thought of it like that. Well, most people don't. Wow. That's why you get paid the big bucks. Well, used to. Let's see if we can get you into the system here and see what kind of benefits we can get for you, eh? Hmm. Ooh, okay, it says here that you're actually not eligible for anything. What? It's the means testing that's the problem. Oh, you implemented that last year, didn't you? Of course I did. We don't want freeloaders bludging off the system, especially when they can use their savings. 
Yeah. Your application was also rejected because it says here you were fired for misconduct. That was another one of your legislation changes. Yeah, and it's a solid rule. You cannot be expected to get benefits if you can't keep your job. That doesn't apply to me because my investigation is ongoing, so technically I have not been fired. Yeah, okay. Ah, it's not just that. It says here you've got too many investment properties. Another one of your changes. Yeah, of course, if you have an investment property, you should not be allowed to claim benefits, but that doesn't apply to me because all my properties are negatively geared. Oh, I see. I know about negative gearing because I'm Greek. Back door. John. 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 I need you to help me out, mate. I need you to work some magic. I just need a couple of months to give me some time so I can think about which CEO job I'm going to take at which multinational company. So I need you to work some magic. I need some paychecks. Just to tide me over. You do that. Look. I'm doing my best, Mr. Chamberlain. Can I, can I call you Paul? Okay. Paul, I'd love to, Paul. Honestly, I would, but my hands are tied. Okay. I'll keep you in 10% for whatever you get through. Sorry? Okay, 12%. Sorry, what did you say, Mr. Chamberlain? 25% but you are breaking my balls. You're breaking my balls. Mr. Chamberlain. Cash. Maria Meta Kitrina, Pionaga Pascalitera, Pionaga Pascalitera. Opa! Jamaica Zuanetti. Jamaica. Jamaica. <sighs> Jamaica me crazy. Adriana Sapio. Adriana Sapio. Libby Thomas. Libby. Michelle Pasta. Michelle. Michelle. Jesse Swan. Jesse Swan. <laughs> 